Fire, soap, dates and a new hope for plastics are all featured today in this week's portrait. Hello, it's James from the Global Portrait Project where I'm painting 193 portraits of 193 nationalities with each sitter having an interesting environmental story. And this week I'm painting country number three, Algeria. The People's Democratic Republic of Algeria is the largest country in Africa and is bordered by three countries beginning with M and also countries beginning with T, L, N and W, S. The north, where the majority of the 45 million population live, is relatively fertile, with the Sahara dominating the geography of the south. Algeria's main environmental concerns are desertification, water shortage and pollution. Representing Algeria, our portrait subject is Zeynep Gulen, a university student who is passionate about how chemistry has a positive role to play in aiding our environment. I'm often asked how I find my subjects to paint. Uh, the most common way is that I make a connection with an artist from the country and ask them if they can think of a sitter. And I found Zeynep through the Algerian artist Raja Usmilan who responded to my direct message on Instagram. Raja is an Algerian designer and artist who introduced me to her friend Zenit. Zenit is a PhD student at the University of Science and Technology Ouare Boumedien, where she recently completed her Masters in Material and Inorganic Chemistry. Zenep has a strong interest in areas of chemistry that may have a positive impact on the environment. She's worked in teams looking into the chemistry of composting and biofertilizers. Zenep studied making soap from leftover frying oil and turning date stones into edible animal feed and other products. Her main focus has been as lead investigator on the creation and development of bioplastic from leftover potato peels, hard bread and crustacean shells. Plastic remains a huge issue for our environment, often being made from fossil fuels and usually being very slow to biodegrade. Zeneb's project produces a biodegradable plastic from recycled matter. As well as Zeneb's love for the scientific work, she's also a passionate educator and communicator. She is a current major contributor to the university's Club Ozone, which was started back in 1996 by a group of chemistry students to popularise chemistry by organising events and conferences, educational outings and exhibitions, in which experiments are presented alongside innovative projects that link chemistry to our daily lives. This has also adapted to emphasise the good that chemistry can do for the environment. Zeneb is the co-founder of Ozone Podcasts, where she discusses the positive ways chemistry is playing a part in our lives. 
she's also making YouTube videos under the Ozone Videos banner to popularise chemistry and explains it in a way that is accessible to the public. If you'd like to find out more about Zeneb's work, the link to Club Ozone is in the description below. There is more information about this painting and how to get involved with the Global Portrait Project on the website and Instagram page and the links are again in the description below. Next time we'll be decreasing waste in Andorra.